back, everyone. We are joined now by Danny Ackright, who is with the Food Bank of Iowa. And we are talking about the month of love still, and we are trying to spread the love. So, Danny, talk to me about the most recent campaign with the Food Bank. Absolutely. So, you're right. February is this month of love, and we're focused on good pairings. And nothing's a better pairing than peanut butter and jelly in our mind. So, for the month of February, we've been raising funds, and we've been gathering peanut butter and jelly to make sure that that staple stays on our shelves for the people who need it. That sounds really simple peanut butter and jelly, but there are people in just our community in Des Moines, Iowa, who don't have access to that. Absolutely. In uh, Polk County, we've got more than 50,000 people that struggle with food insecurity. And for people like that, and for anybody, really, peanut butter and jelly is an easy staple. It's a nutritious food that, that is very easy for people to, to prepare. And it lasts. And it lasts. That's right. It's a shelf-stable product that can stay with you forever. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So, you, s you mentioned that you're collecting funds. Why is it important to not only be donating peanut butter and jelly, but also to raise funds to go along with this campaign? Absolutely. So the Food Bank of Iowa, we're all about bulk. So we, when we purchase food, we're purchasing by the truckload, not just by the grocery cart. So for us, uh, a donation of just a few dollars can help us buy a case or a pallet or even a truckload full of uh, full of great products like peanut butter and jelly. But that doesn't mean don't donate if you want to give actual product. <laughs> Absolutely, that's right. We, we depend on donations of food just as we depend on donations of funds to, to really keep our inventory stocked. So currently, until the end of February, you want all the PB&J that you can possibly get. Absolutely right. Uh, so how do people get that to you? Sure. So you can either stop by our warehouse over on the east side of Des Moines to drop off actual peanut butter and jelly, or you can visit foodbankiowa.org to make a financial donation. Okay. And for people who are at home, talk to me about how much this really should be impacting them. People who are at home struggling with food insecurity? No, just for people who are thinking, gosh, I mean, does this really happen in our community? You said 50,000 people, but like there are Absolutely. kids who literally go home and don't have access to food throughout the whole weekend. Absolutely right. Um, just last week, I was at King Elementary here in Des Moines talking with a, a student named Ashley mm -hmm. who benefits from the school pantry there. And she and her family moved from California and that said that when they came to Iowa and they had access to this resource, it really made her feel like she was at home. So these are folks who are living in our community. They're our neighbors. They may be family members or friends, and they deserve our help. Okay, wonderful. Give yeah. us the website one more time and how to get a hold of you guys. Absolutely. Visit foodbankiowa.org to make a difference. Okay, thank you very much for being here, Danny. Thanks for having me. We'll take a short break. We have your headlines coming your way right after this.